Now that you've seen that, you're probably wondering how that worked. Basically, the script I loaded on the graph sets up a Pico8 player underneath the web page, and constantly updates the image in Desmos to match the screen of the player. For the more technically inclined, I made an offline copy of the Pico8 player using HTTrack and figured out how it worked and how to upload carts to it. It requires a few specific HTML elements which I put into a div called Pico8 container. The main problem was that when trying to request a game, it kept making XHR requests to Luxalawful. But, if I created a global variable, say inject URL, and shove that into the part of the module where it tried to make the XHR request, it would work fine. That's what the function read file does. It triggers when you upload a file to the file input and sets a global variable called inject URL to a base64 URL of the cart you just uploaded. It then activates the Pico8 player, but before it gets a chance to make an XHR request, it overrides the component that's responsible for the task and shoves in the data URL of your cartridge. The reason for putting that part in a Base64 script is that I wanted it to trigger after the main Pico8 build had already loaded, and the best way to do that is to create a script to load after that. You may be wondering what all this random crap is over here. I have no idea. It was at the top of the HTML of the main page and it doesn't work without it, so it just kind of chills near the top. Now I get to the interesting part. This is where the image setting comes in. Now if you haven't used the Desmos API, there is, to my knowledge, no documented way as of version 1.5 to change images. Nevertheless, after about an hour of searching through an offline build of Desmos, if you go to calc.controller.grapher.graphimages, you get an object with the keys being the IDs of the expressions that contain images. For each of these, you have a property called image object, which is an HTML image element whose source you can adjust to any base64 URL. That's what this first line does in the interval. It references the first image and changes the source of the image object to a base64 representation of the canvas Pico8 is drawing to. Put simply, it sets the image to a screenshot of Pico8. Unfortunately, this is not enough because Desmos doesn't consider changing the source of an image object an event worthy of triggering a redraw. Meaning, we manually have to tell Desmos to refresh the screen every frame. We can do that by setting calc.controller.graph for redraw requested to true. That's about it. That's pretty much all you need to know. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.